G'day guys, how you going? Um, at a job here today, just on the coast of WA, so it gets a lot of storm fronts, and it's only about a, a one and a half, two year old house, okay? But they're having issues with um, roof leaking. Now, it's the house they bought, they're retiring, they want it to be a lock and leave, but it can't be a lock and leave when there's roof leaks and the carpets are getting wet. So we've fixed one upstairs um, that was, uh, yeah, a joint that was missing a bit of silicon, so we've sorted that out. Um, got called back again, there was another leak, it was coming through just here coming through that light here. And so this whole ceiling was, was getting um, wet. And as you can see, it's swollen now, so the cupboards are, the cupboards are getting caught. You, you can't open it. So um, the, the original roof plumber has put some rain heads, I'll show you that in a minute, off the side of the gutter, so the gutter can't fill up and pour over to the back. But the problem is it's a powerful wall, so you can't dump water onto other people's place. It was a vacant block at the time, but now there's a building that's starting there. Um, so. I've come up with another solution for them. Um, it won't be pretty, it won't be beautiful, but there's not much else we can do about it, but I'll show you that now. Okay, so here I am above the laundry room, okay, that that water was damaging and coming out of the light fitting and stuff like that. So you can see that before this, there was a little joint here that was leaking, okay, so this hadn't been sealed. So we, we, we washed all this down, there was no leaks here anywhere. As soon as we put any water on this thing, especially around this groove joint, it started, um, started leaking. So we fixed all that up, but now we found that when that massive storm front comes through, okay, this gutter here is overflowing and the back of it is goes straight into the laundry and, and you know, wetting the cupboards and everything. So what the original roof plumber done, he put a couple pops which, which is just below the, you know, the level of the, the back of the um, gutter and so it would flow out so the water couldn't, couldn't get into the laundry area, right? But the thing is, he would put them out to this property and there was, there was no house there, but now there's a house there. So, He'd put one here, so I had to seal that off so it didn't go into this guy's property. Also, you can see there's another one here that was that was off onto this guy's um, El Fresco area, so that had to be sealed off because whenever there was a massive um, storm front and it dumped, it would just come up and over overflow into here. But it, but when that were there, it, was, it would go off into this guy's El Fresco area. So this whole gutter there goes into this rain rain head here. So if that ever gets too full, I've put another sort of pop on the side here that it will flood out this way. Okay, but the reason this this doesn't seem like this doesn't seem like much roof, you know, it should a gutter like that should handle it. But come up here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that whole roof, okay, it's about I don't know 12 meters wide or whatever. That whole roof goes into this downpipe here and comes down onto that small bit of roof. This roof up there is the same deal. It comes all the way down into that downpipe and comes back this way. So. That whole whole section is going onto this tiny little little gutter down here, and that's why it's, it's it's overflowing all the time. So what they should have done when they built it is put some 100 mil internal downpipes, come all the way down, and pipe it away individually. But they didn't do that. So now the only option we've got it's not beautiful, it's not pretty, but we just have to get those downpipes and run another 100 mil sewer pipe, which is a bit stronger, across the top of this roof, bypassing this gutter completely, stick it straight into the the rain head down here and that means that that roof and this roof will all just go directly into this then it'll all the pressure will be on the lower gut, gutter down here that you can see okay and if, if that overflows it doesn't matter too much because it's uh, just a courtyard there so if it does overflow back in there it, it'll, it'll be okay but anyway I'll show you when I'm all, all done and dusted okay so it's, it's all sorted so that whole roof there this whole roof there you can see we've hooked into both both down pipes here okay so we've kept it off the roof so water can still flow underneath this pipe okay that we've got in and then you can see over here that's all we've all just clipped it off bolted it to the roof silicon them down this goes all the way over and then um, pops in straight down into that um, rain head now so that means any water now that that comes from all these above roofs bypasses this small bit of gutter goes straight into the rain head and all sorted and hopefully you know it won't be um, you know pulling over the back anymore into the laundry uh, because it's only a, you know, a small section of roof and that gutter can easily handle it so um, hopefully that'll sort it out but we'll just wait for the next massive front to come through and uh, we'll see but I think that we've solved it on this one all right thanks for watching catch you later